Hi everyone, I'm Archie. Um, I represent the QTube with Brian. Um, today we're going to be looking at uh, the four composers one clip challenge that we do monthly now. Um, we're going to have the reactions from the composers about each uh, clip and each score and see what everyone thinks and see what everyone likes and uh, could, you know, work on. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. <laughs> Do you guys want to introduce yourself? Maybe Carolyn, if you want to go first. Sure. Hi, I'm Carolyn Koch. I'm a film composer and pianist based on the uh, East Coast U.S., uh, working on some films right now, and I'm very excited to be doing this for the YouTube. Awesome. Thanks so much. Uh, Anthony, how about you? Hello, everyone. So I'm Anthony. I'm based in St. Andrews, Scotland, but also in Edinburgh. Um, also a film composer, um, pianist, but also organist. Um, and um, I've I've been absolutely loving scoring this new track and I'm so delighted that Ryan and the YouTube um, came to all of us to, to score this track. Cool. Cheers. Cheers. Zach, do you want to introduce yourself? Sure thing. I am uh, <laughs> Zach Heidi. I am a composer in Los Angeles right now and um, I'm also a YouTuber as well. Uh, and scoring a nature doc has been on my bucket list. So uh, this has been a lot of fun to do. I really, really enjoyed this and I'm looking forward to hearing the other composers work too. Yeah, me too. I think a nature doc is like, oh, I definitely want to do that one day. <laughs> the dream. <laughs> how, about, how about you, Ben? Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Ben J. Lee. I'm a film and television composer based out of uh, Toronto, Canada. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited to get into this. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. So like I, I guess i'll just ask you first like what did you think of the clip um i mean it was edited by brian which is cool <laughs> so he does all the edits on these but what how was it to score generally um ben do you want to go first yeah sure uh, i think he paced the editing uh really well um nice. so it was kind of easy just to slot it into a certain tempo and carry it straight through the uh the entire clip and the visuals are fantastic too, so. Right, yeah. awesome. Cheers. Zach? Yeah, I think I really enjoyed the score. I thought the pacing was also really good too. Um, I tried to approach it from kind of a a two-part uh, like approach. That's sort of what it felt like to right. me, was that the first half felt like, like an introduction to the whole documentary. Um, and I personally focused it kind of on the humanity side because there's a lot of emphasis on people. Mm -hmm. And then it sort of shifted over into animals and, and like, you know, great yeah. beasts. And so for me, it was like a two part uh, thing. And, and the challenge was figuring out how to make those two feel separate in a way, but also glue the music together because transitions for me are always the toughest thing to score. Yeah, I think for everyone, right? <laughs> yeah. Surely. <laughs> Uh, how about you, Anthony? Yeah, no, I, I agree with Ben and Zach. I think, um, you know, the pacing of, of the actual clip is really good. And, you know, I think it was really good to actually hit on some of the points of the actual clip and kind of sync things up very well. Um, like, like Zach, I felt that the actual clip had two kind of clips, like a kind of prologue and a kind of a middle kind of two sections. Um, so I also kind of had this kind of a human aspect and then kind of how to amalgamate these kind of human aspect into kind of the kind of jungle and kind of um, African kind of savannah. So it was a challenge to, you know, create two kind of different sections, but also, as I said, to kind of amalgamate the two together to make it feel as one. But I loved it. And it's, awesome. yeah, it's fantastic. Nice. And, and you, Carolyn? Yeah, I thought it was a unique challenge and documentary is always a unique challenge because you really have to, you almost have to fight some of your musical instincts and you're weaving in and out to support narration. There was a lot of narration right, in this. Right, yeah. Um, almost sort of a, a constant stream and you have to, you know, it's a dance. It's not what I call like blanket composing, like you're working with the narration to support it. So you have to mm. accent the spaces in between. So that sort of, that almost like choreography of composing is always a unique challenge. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you guys liked it. Um, I think his editing is getting better with every clip. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So I think we should just, uh, you know, jump right into it and uh, maybe have a look at uh, Carolyn's score first, if you're happy to break the ice. <laughs> Go for it. 
Okay, cool. Over the centuries, man's imagination has been fired by the many wonders of nature. But few creatures have inspired more awe than those magnificent apex predators of the jungle and savanna. The big cats. The term big cat usually refers to the tiger, lion, jaguar, leopard and snow leopard, as well as the cheetah and cougar. Amongst their many attributes, lions are known for their incredible roar. Audible eight or even 10 kilometers away in good conditions. The cheetah is celebrated as the fastest land animal, top speed 80 to 128 kilometers per hour. Join us as we discover more about the amazing world of the big cats. Gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks, Carolyn. Um, do you want to tell us a bit about the um, about the about the clip and about how you went about scoring it, some of the sounds, that kind of thing? Sure. Anything with um, animal life and nature, my mind definitely goes to organic vocals, and mm. I definitely wanted a lot of the power and backing to come sort of from human voice harmonies. Um, the other key thing for me was strong percussion. I wanted sort of that tactile drum sound. There's a lot of animal movement and sort of to create that action flow. So I was feeling definitely drums and then human voice. And that was kind of how I wanted to sort of push the undercurrent and then accent the spaces in between. Lovely. Yeah. Um, I really loved the way I loved the kind of voice and stuff coming in, in and out it really works like what you were saying about the the kind of choreography of working with the narration um do you guys have any points that you want to make about what you liked <laughs> i liked i thought i was hearing like a hang drum or a, maybe a tongue drum there was something underneath that had like a really percussive but pitch sound to it like deep and i i went for something similar but not that deep but yours was really nice because it cut right through the the narration without getting, you know, without obstructing it in that frequency, which I thought was really nice. Right, right. There was a lot of having to not overwhelm when he was speaking. So I was trying to work in registers that were either deep or or percussive just because you couldn't, I didn't want to overwhelm the speech. So yeah, yeah, there were some distorted strings that were acting as sort of a, a percussive bass and then the percussion itself. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love your use of choir there, Karen. I, I mm -hmm. kind of took the same approach, and I when I thought of animals and tigers and this kind of nature, I, you know, I think the choir is it's, it's, it has this timbre quality, and I think it just worked well with the whole pacing of of the track, and it's, it's it was just brilliant. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I found it flowed really well, um, mm -hmm. just right from the beginning. It captured you, brought you into the um, the clip, and then just carried you straight through. Uh, just right to the end then through the opening titles there was tons of room for the narration so yeah i thought yeah. it fit in really well amazing thank you so much for that that was that was sure. lovely cheers <laughs> <laughs> okay um who's next let's have a look at um let's go for zach are you happy to go next <laughs> okay cool over the centuries man's imagination has been fired by the many wonders of nature. But few creatures have inspired more awe than those magnificent apex predators of the jungle and savanna, the big cats. The term big cat usually refers to the tiger, lion, jaguar, leopard and snow leopard, as well as the cheetah and cougar. Amongst their many attributes, lions are known for their incredible roar. Audible eight or even 10 kilometers away in good conditions. The cheetah is celebrated as the fastest land animal, top speed 80 to 128 kilometers per hour. Join us as we discover more about the amazing world of the big cats. Gotta have a ping in there. Wow. <laughs> Gotta have the great. piano ping. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah, I see what you mean. Uh, like, 
uh distinguishing the sections of the the kind of like human element and it was great it was like but throughout it was like intrigue that's what Thanks. i thought initially is like intrigue <laughs> um, yeah i was trying to do piano yeah. for me like that for me i associate solo piano with something about it maybe it's this historical use of just piano but it, for me i associate it with like humanity like going through history so the idea of also like synapses firing like inspiration i just try to use piano there and then um i try to stay pretty underscored through the second half actually like most of the stuff that's in there is kind of hard to hear because i i mix it down but there's some like yeah hang drums and some like little moving synths and stuff but most of what you hear i think is just the low like string swells and brass swells just to kind of like push things out every now and again make it feel like threatening but beautiful hopefully yeah, that came across yeah. to me. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> Carolyn, do you want to give us your two cents? Yeah, I'm a sucker for any touch of piano. So yeah, that always brings like a sort of an elegance and a and a and a refinement, especially to like documentary storytelling. There's sort of like a majesticness to the use of of refined solo piano, like you said. So um yeah, I really liked the piano touches. I thought that made it very unique. Thank you. <laughs> Anthony? Yeah, I loved it. I think you use like a minor, as if I think a C minor, go C minor to F major, that kind of chord progression. I love that because it's like a sense of hope. Mm. Um, and I love that that cello line, which you introduce with the line, because it, it has that kind of line, kind of deep kind of quality, kind of menacing. So it's very programmatic. And I thought you captured it so, so well. Um, and the two sections were just, were just, yeah, flowed perfectly together and... Um, you know, and I love the kind of percussion at the end you, you put in. I, you know, I think it was it was perfect. Brilliant. Thanks, Anthony. Lovely. Yeah, I thought um, it, there was a beginning, middle, and end uh, for me listening to that. Like it, it opened the clip up nicely, and then the body of the piece kind of supported the narration. And then right at the end, it just takes you right into the the main titles there. So it's like a big swell yeah. straight into it. It was really cool. I loved it. Awesome. Thanks for that, Zach. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Um, cool. Let's go to Ben's one. Let's go for it. Over the centuries, man's imagination has been fired by the many wonders of nature. But few creatures have inspired more awe than those magnificent apex predators of the jungle and savanna. The big cats. <laughs> The term big cat usually refers to the tiger, lion, jaguar, leopard, and snow leopard, as well as the cheetah and cougar. Amongst their many attributes, lions are known for their incredible roar. Audible eight or even 10 kilometers away in good conditions. The cheetah is celebrated as the fastest land animal top speed 80 to 128 kilometers per hour. Join us as we discover more about the amazing world of the big cats. Nice. Love that. That that melody is like beautiful and it builds so beautifully, I think, all throughout. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I just went straight yeah. for that feel good nature documentary, inspiring animals, inspiring yeah. music. It's Kind of goes well. I love nature documentaries. It's uh, it's fantastic. Yeah. So I started it out with kind of the synths, the humanity side of it, and then just took it straight into the um, the wilderness then with the big cats. So yeah, I, I had a lot of fun with it. I love that um, inspirational type of score. So it was great. Right. Right. Cheers for that. Um, Zach, do you want to tell us? I really liked your harmony. The way <laughs> yeah. you, you reserved... Uh the six in your harmony, which is, I do the same because it's just a, it's such a feel good. It's like ear candy, oh, yeah. you know? So it's like you, you, you could overuse that if you do it too much, but you were really nice. You kind of expanded your harmony as you went out. I think you did like G to C to G to F to G to E flat. So it was constantly yeah. like kind of stretching as it went. And uh, I thought that was, yeah, really mature, like expert use of harmony there, which is awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, Carolyn, what do you think? 
<laughs> yeah, I loved the build. I definitely got I got a sense with this too of that there was a build towards the end, sort of, and I, I felt that that swell and the very expansive percussion. I I loved the sort of that that sense of sort of adventurous percussion that it kind of that it kind of gives. Um, sure. Great build. There's nothing like a good build. Absolutely. Yeah, I just went I straight. Think. I think the percussion was the first thing I laid down. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just, I knew I wanted to go in that direction, so that's the first thing I went in. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, I concur with Carol, um, Carolyn and Zach. Um, the, just, I think those horns and those brass is really just comforting. And this, that, that kind of percussion, just that ostinato, just, just moves that forward. You don't have to do much. That, that beats, that percussion is so interesting. And then you add those kind of expansive harmonies, like Zach said, it just it tells a story. Um, I think it's, you know, just the voicings and everything, which is so exquisite. Um, and just, it, just, it just kind of melts in front of you and, you know, developed and, yeah. I, I I loved it. Brilliant. Oh, great. I appreciate that. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> Cheers, Ben. That was that was lovely. That was really lovely. <laughs> um, so last but of course not least, we have Anthony. Over the centuries, man's imagination has been fired by the many wonders of nature. But few creatures have inspired more awe than those magnificent apex predators of the jungle and savannah. The Big Cats. The term Big Cat usually refers to the tiger, lion, jaguar, leopard and snow leopard, as well as the cheetah and cougar. Amongst their many attributes, lions are known for their incredible roar. Audible 8 or even 10 kilometers away in good conditions. The cheetah is celebrated as the fastest land animal, top speed 80 to 128 kilometers per hour. Join us as we discover more about the amazing world of the big cats. Love it. Well done, Anthony. I love that. Do you want to tell, tell us a little bit about it, about how you went about composing? Yeah, I mean, I think when I first spotted the film, I obviously kind of mark the tempo out and make sure I think kind of fit with it with the hit. Um, but percussion and choir came to me straight away. I could feel this kind of like African choir, like, ooh, ah, this kind of shouting, this kind of eth ethnical kind of um, background and percussion obviously taking a lead role. I also took quite an orchestral um, uh, kind of approach to this. I wanted lots of colonial strings. So percussion really going, you know, at the mix is really kind of high in the mix. Um, kind of the first, first was kind of like a synthy kind of like, you know, that's where we kind of introduced that kind of percussion, those bongos, those different small percussions. And then that obviously kind of leads into a, the, the main section with a kind of solo cello and then doubled by horns. And obviously that's doubled. And then we've got the kind of big kind of epic section, which I kind of wanted to kind of evoke the epicness and the kind of bit largeness of, of, of the um, lions in the jungle. Um, and then kind of the, the kind of the kind of symbol role and the choir kind of supporting that kind of harmonic structure. So I first came up with a kind of chord progression, like I think it was B minor to F sharp minor, A major to E major. And then I went from that and then I orchestrated and I gave more parts to more the instruments. And and then yeah, it kind of all came together, just a few small little changes. And um, yeah, that's kind of how I went about it. I really liked um, how you uh, just just a, a little point, how you kind of gave it a bit of room to breathe before like the orchestra came back in. That was really lovely. Yeah, I love that. Thank you. Um, ben, do you want to give us your thoughts? Yeah, yeah. I really loved the choir. The chants uh, when they came in, it's that made it for me, I think. Uh, and it, it's made it into more of a like a, kind of that action sequence um, after that first title. Which I really liked. So that that was a really smooth transition straight into that, and then uh, the build up to the end, and then ending on the major chord. That was great. That was fantastic. I loved that. Thank you, Zach. Yeah, you stole mine, Archie. I like that space as well. I I thought that was, <laughs> I thought yeah. that was really really nice. I I wouldn't have thought to do that, but it it just hearing the nature sounds, it kind of gave. Um, so to reset your brain away for the for the music to kind of come out however you wanted it to and uh and you evolved it really naturally too that it, it kind of just 
gently emerged out and then became kind of lively when uh, the other animals were running. And then you kind of made it feel more beautiful again, which I thought was really nice contrast through that whole second half. Definitely, definitely. Carolyn? Yeah, what struck me was it was so smart to put a lot in the upper register like you did. I was noticing even towards the beginning, I think there were like woodwind flourishes up top or it might have been some high strings too. Um, you were definitely framing sort of the the narration really well. I noticed immediately that you were working with the with the registers really well. It was smart to put stuff in the in the treble so that it cut through. Thank you. I there, there were whole tone trills in the violins and the, mm. the, the flutes and piccolos were doubling the the um the strings, the first violin. So yeah, thanks. Thanks, thank thank you. Really well orchestrated. Beautiful. Okay, wow. Um well that's it then so thank you so so much guys for doing this um like we really appreciate it it's been great fun so yeah if you uh if you watching would like to access these clips you can head over to the qtube's patreon for just one pound a month uh you can access all of the clips that we release like this <laughs>